Two women were robbed in the middle of the day and both had their purses snatched. One was injured after being shoved to the ground. The whole thing caught on camera. Houston police gave us surveillance video this morning asking for help. It happened back in June outside a grocery store on West Fuquay in Southwest Houston. That's where we find our Michelle Choi live. Michelle, you talked with one of the victims. All right, Shalom to the elect of Yah Shahala, starting with the 144,000 men. And Shalom to the other Israelite men, women, and children who Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is going to have mercy upon them. Shalom to all of you. I want to start off by giving a much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Racha. Ha Kwadash Koholo Yimla Abanawa Alahaya Nawa Yahawa Bahashim Yahawasha Bahashim Racha Ha Kwadash Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to the sincere Akim that's laboring in the works. And Shalom to you believers, to the Akim Wa Aqua, which would be you brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. I process that the lesson is edifying and playing upon the tables and straight to the point. I'm your brother Malkaya, representing prophets of Pasadena, Texas, seven seven five zero four branch. Alright, so you saw here man, there's no point in playing the whole video. It's plain it's it's very plain, but it's simple. Alright. Um, you know, you got two elderly women. It says two women, ages 79 and 84, robbed outside Houston grocery store. Victim shares her story. It says the elderly sisters are walking, were, so like, yeah, the elderly sisters were in the parking lot when they were ambushed by two robbers. The older woman was injured when one guy yanked her to the ground and laughed. All right, the love of many is bison cold, man. All right, the elderly people are not exempt from Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh's judgment. Uh, Houston, uh, let's see. Mm, pretty much say the same thing, you know, the two elderly women were robbed in the parking lot of a Southwest Houston grocery store and the guys who did it are still on the run. All right, Houston police say two young males attacked the victims as they walked toward the store in the 6100 block of West Fuqua near Sam Houston Tollway on the morning of June 24th. Okay, let's see. We were just talking like we always do. We should be paying more attention. Jos Josefina Albera, because it sounds Northern Kingdom, told us we didn't know nothing happened to us before. And that's the thing about a lot of these people, and especially elderly people, because nothing has happened to them. They think that they're exempt from judgment. They think that judgment is, is never going to come to them. Josefina said the guys ran up, ran up behind them and grabbed their purses. It was so fast until I felt my purse flying away from me. Her oldest sister was injured when one robber yanked her to the ground. All right, so uh, get out of this one and go to the other one. That's he shows... The, the two individuals, the two look like two jigs, two young jigs, two GMOs. All right. It says wanted robbers who targeted elderly women outside grocery store. This is them right here. Uh, it doesn't really say much. All right. But uh, let's play the video. And so, yeah, like, uh, it might play. Two energy. Uh, all right. Just for like copyright purpose, you know, I'm just keep it on mute and then play the actual uh art of the the news uh video. Let 
I'm not sure if you can hear it, but those are two young dudes right there. You think the other woman, they're laughing. All right, this is about to come to a lot of women in general, regardless of the age. 85, 95, 65, 54, 34, 25, 21, 14, 13. Alright. It's like the the younger generation, Gen Z, on demon time. They 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 ain't built right. Let's say they ain't built right. Something ain't right with them, man. Alright. Uh, our elders, our elders like to call them GMO niggas. Alright, let's get the scriptures there, right. Um, let's see. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 2, verse 11, of Salakia. Salakia. The book of Romans. Let me say it again. The book of Romans, chapter 2, verse 11, in the KJV. For there is no respect of persons with the Most High. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So judgment is ready to eat for everyone. Anyone can get judged. Okay. All right. Regardless of your age. All right, how young, how old, your gender doesn't matter. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai sees the spirit, not the flesh. All right, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39, in the KJV. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound. I wound. Wasn't that elderly woman wounded? She was injured and yanked to the ground. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, controls life and death. Good times and bad times, right? No other gods. Not even Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ, right? Which is a false god. Um, let's get this. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7, the KJV. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. All right? Stop giving, stop giving credit to Satan. All right? Give the credit where it's due. To Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. So, our power, our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, had put the spirit on those two young jakes to rob those women. And it, it, it could have gotten worse. They could have just killed them. They could have ravished them. They could have raped them. All right. It could have it could have been way worse. And it, and it will get worse. All right. You know what? Uh, let's get that right quick. Second is there's um, five and two. KJV first, and then we get a good news translation. All right, Second Ezra chapter five, verse two, in the KJV. But iniquity, right, sin upon sin, wickedness, shall be increased above that which now thou seest, and that thou hast heard long ago. It's going to get so wicked out here. We're going to see wickedness that we never seen before. Because iniquity is abounding, right? Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love man shall wax cold. Wow. Do I got that? Uh, nah, but we can get that. Let me get the good news translation right quick. The GNT. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 5, verse 2, in the good news translation. Wickedness will increase until it has become worse. Than you have ever known to be. So don't be surprised where, you know, instead of old women, 
elderly woman being robbed of whatever possessions they have, don't be surprised where there's going to be elderly women getting ravished right alongside with the younger woman, younger Israelite woman. All right. It's about to get real wicked out here, man. Let's get that right quick. Um, The book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 12 in the KJV. And because iniquity, sin upon sin, wickedness, shall abound, shall increase, the love of many shall wax cold. It's going to be a time like never before. It's going to get so wicked out here. And it's going to continue to increase with wickedness and so expect the love of me to wax colder and colder and colder no more respect for one another no more compassion no more pity just an evil eye for each other you know those uh who are now the elect all right uh, two-thirds of two-thirds are going to be on demon time man all right and you saw that in that video as an example those two young jakes robbed the elderly uh it looks like the Nolte Kingdom women, all right? Which Nolte Kingdom are also Israelites, so called Hispanics, Latinos, all right? They're also Israelites. Um, let's see. Wait, let's get this right quick. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 4 to 6 in the KJV. And the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, said unto him, the angels, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And set a mark, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations, the wickedness, like the LGBTQ crew people. All right, everything being out of order, not righteousness, is all wickedness, right? For all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. The prophets, starting with the prophets and the men on down and, and you believers, right, are signed and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man, wherever, you know, you're scattered at, you know, especially here in America, you know, you got brothers and believers, you know, outside of America that sign and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, all right, being vexed in the spirit every day with this place just being wicked as hell. Waiting for a great judgment to come upon, you know, the people of this world that live their lives in pride and arrogancy. It's going to suffer many things in a lot of days. Uh, verse 5. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite, and let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Angels, right, are also those spirits of vengeance that seeks to appease the wrath of our power that created them to satisfy his wrath and they will not transgress his word man all right um uh, verse six it says slay 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 right utterly old right slay slay kill murder put to death do to death, put to the sword, butcher, cut down, cut to pieces, slaughter, massacre, shoot down, gun down, mow down, assassinate, execute, dispatch, destroy, eliminate, annihilate, exterminate. All right, you get the point here, right? All right. And the, the, the definition here, it says kill a person or animal in a violent way. That's about to come up. So that's about to come upon old people, elderly people, the elderly, slay, utterly old. Let me uh, zoom out so I can. Verse six. All right. Slay, utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. It mentions female twice. Maids of every young girl, woman, an older woman. Mentions female twice. You Israelite women, so-called black women, Hispanic women, Latino women, Native American Indian women. You're not excluded from judgment. All right. You're part of our nation, too. You can also 
sin and transgress, right? Which the wage of that is death. But come not say, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Judgment must begin within the house of Yahweh I think it's First uh, Peter four and seventeen. And begin at my sanctuary. Start with the Israelites that know that they're Israelites. That's not taking this deadly seriously. And begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men, which which were before the house. So you, a lot of you Israelites are going to be put to death for not wanting to seek Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And you other nations too are going to be uh, utterly, uh, utterly slayed. Right. Started with the Israelites. That know better. Um, Four seventeen. Let's get that approved there very quick. First Peter chapter four verse seventeen in the KJV. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you Hebrew Israelites, especially those that know you are a Hebrew Israelite and you're not taking this deadly seriously. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And this and judgment is going to come upon all you know various of ages. Old, young, newborn, pregnant woman. Doesn't matter. And if it first begin at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel, the good news of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai? Judgment is coming upon a lot of you Israelites, regardless of your age. All right, and then let's go into this word mark. All right, to prove that it's not the same mark in the New Testament, the mark in uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16 to 17. The MOTB, the mark of the beast, the Haragma. This mark is different. Thawab. All right. Strong's H8420. Tav. Tav. All right. That's Thawab. All right. Let's get straight to the point. All right. You see right here. Mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. And that's what we are working for. Abu we receive this mark, this tawab. We receive this sign of exemption from judgment. Judgment from who? The power of the Hebrew Israelites of our forefather, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The power of Yahshua Allah. So-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians. And his name is Yahweh, our Heavenly Father. And the name Bahashim of his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. This is the mark that we desire to get to be exempt from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's indignation, his anger that's about to come upon the whole world. Two thirds of our nation. All right, are going to be destroyed regardless of your age. All right, uh, let's go. Uh, damn, already closed out. Um, I'm gonna leave the links in the description box. You know, if you want to click on it, you know, watch it for yourself. Uh, if you want to do a response to it, hey, you know, go ahead. I'm leaving it in the description box. I brought this out. The lesson was edifying. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. Uh, Second Chronicles. 15 and 13. All right. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 13, the KJV, speaking to you Hebrew Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians, and you Israelite for us. Second Chronicles 15 and 13, KJV. That whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, power of Israel, of Yahshua Allah, should be put to death whether small or great right small young or great old elderly whether man or woman 
that whosoever would not seek the Lord, right, worship the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, God of Yahshua Allah, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Good news translation. Anyone, young or old, right, any Israelite, young or old, male or female, who did not worship him, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, was to be put to death. Great deaths is coming to two thirds of our nation because they would not seek the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Repent, Yahshua, or a purge and learn the hard way. All right. I brought this out. The lesson was edifying. It put some fear into you to repent if you haven't repented yet. All right. I'm going to close out by giving the much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rechacha Kodas. Koholoyim la abanawa ala hayanawa yahawa Bahashim yahawa shai Bahashim racha ka kwadas Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone and much due respect to you sincere Akim that's labored in the works Shalom to you believers to the Akim wa Akwa which be your brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth DTA Death to America Abad Ball soon, Kwam Yasha Allah. Abba Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Shalak Rayum, Wa Ainashim, Wa Abayum, Wa Haragium, Wa Mashapayum, Al Kaw Adawamium, Wa Gowayum, Wa Ayawyam Nawa, Wa La Hamorayum, Wa La Baba, Abad Baba, Abab Ba, Abad Baba. Bawakusha, 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 Abba Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Dawada, Amun.